Hey, hello there, good evening, and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely pig sick of this rain. It's never stopped where I am. It's just pouring, pouring, pouring. It's getting really cold. It's getting really dark. I need a cruise. Uh, well, if you need a cruise, if you need something to look forward to, you are in the right place tonight. Uh, this is a show that's been running 11 years. Uh, I have been on, I've been very lucky, I've been on about 30 cruises. We're going to be joined by Dan in a few moments. He's an expert. He works for Planet Cruise. But tonight's show is amazing. We've got something for absolutely everybody and some incredible deals. Um, but, Dan, I can see your hand. That's you, isn't it? Is <laughs> no, Dan's with us. Now, you've just come back today from MSC's newest ship. Good I evening, have. by the way. Good evening. What's she like? Beautiful. I haven't even unpacked yet. So you I dumped the board. bag and came up. Wow. And, and we are going to be featuring her this show, aren't we? First cruise. First, First cruise. cruise. First deal we're going to look at. And she's fab. She is amazing. Beautiful. I'll tell you all so about So this is her. the MSC Grandioso, just launched this week. Yeah, it was on, it was named on Saturday. Wow. So we were part of the maiden voyage down. Uh, and I know the team, wonderful. actually, Kat and the team, uh, are on her right now. Tonight. Well, yeah, yeah, but you obviously today. have to come back for the show. Yeah. Now, we've also got, and we, we've really missed her, Moira is back from Cruiser Maritime. Always bring a brilliant deal. Amazing. Great yeah. ships. And actually, we've got an incredible single price on that, so that's our solo yeah. special coming up this week. Uh, we've got a brilliant river cruise as well, haven't we? Fab river cruise. We've got a great hot spot. Uh, celebrity cruises. Celebrity, we can't go without celebrity without your new favourite as well. We've got coming up later in America a new we itinerary. We have. Uh, I love celebrity, um, but also Morella. I've just booked another cruise with them, and we've got an incredible deal with them coming up tonight. Um, well, something for everybody, there, haven't we? For everybody. Um, Stay and, tuned. And we're going to finish with a real biggie: a rocky mountain yeah. adventure. Dan works for Planet Cruise, uh, so he's an expert. Are you going to be there tomorrow morning? There tomorrow from nine a.m. From 9 a.m. Yeah. And what time are we open tonight, Dan? Till 10 p.m. tonight. So phone in, talk to the guys. Um, we're going to have the phone number up all through the show. Speak to the guys. Yeah. Any questions, anything they need. So there's the phone number. You can see at the bottom of the screen, 0808 2662. Um, and just want to say, before we start the show, um, I had a lovely email from uh, Simon and Sylvia. And Doris, so I want to say they're big cruisers. They've just come back from a Morella cruise. So uh, good evening. I'm sure they'll be sat there with a little tipple like many of you are. We'd better begin, <laughs> shall we? We'd be better. We'd um, better. <laughs> we're just on the water tonight. But we will be talking about drinks packages throughout <laughs> the cruise, uh, throughout the show, rather. But we are going to start with MSC, brand new ship, as we mentioned, just launched. Brand new. She had that new ship smell. Oh. Brand new carpets, brand new beds. Everything was beautiful about uh, her. Now, now, we're busy filming her right now, but this is images and footage of her sister ship. This is of Bellissima, and they are, they're ident they're sisters, they're identical. So much to do on there. They've upped their game so much. It's a big ship, 181,000 tonnes. So much to do on board. Um, if you like your specialty dining, your sport for choice, teppanyaki, sushi, oh. French bistro, steakhouse, that's on top of the main dining, which is also fabulous. And just looking at the activities, I mean, you could never, ever be bored, could you? You can't. It's impossible. If you're travelling, for example, with a family, you've got, for the young children, you've got Lego, you've got Kiko, or Chico, as we would call it. The Italians call it Kiko. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've got VR mazes. They've got Formula One simulators. They've got bowling alleys. As I think you saw a bit earlier, a sports complex as well. And which is so great, much but to if do. you're not into that kind of thing, you know, if you just love your dining, your bars, your entertainment, a huge choice of restaurants and bars. Um, have they got, by the way, um, I'm just thinking about the shows on board, have they got the world famous Cirque du Soleil? They've got Cirque du Soleil. So they've got a Cirque du Soleil lounge, which is right on the back of the ship, floor to ceiling windows, big stage in the middle. You can choose two things there. You can have that as a speciality dining as well, so have dinner oh, and a show you? all oh, wow. at the same time, or just go and have like a drink in the show. It's really a great option, and it's something that no one else has. Well, um, bear in mind, she's a brand new ship. She's just launched. We've got incredible prices yeah. tonight um, and it's a really nice cruise this one we're gonna uh, we'll show you we're gonna fly you from the UK uh, over to Marseille to start with that's a Marseille so we don't often embark in Marseille but it's, it's it's often on the ports but the great thing is you board in Marseille we still get to do the big hitters so we go on board to Marseille we then join the ship and then we head to Genoa 
just around the coast. I really like Genoa. It's really walkable from the uh, port itself. You can go in and out and walk around. A little bit hilly, but that's not too it's bad. It's really nice, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Um, then off to Civitavecchia for Rome. We, we speak about Rome a lot, lots to do that, you know, the Colosseum, the Vatican. Head there, do a tour there because it's quite some way from the port. But you can do a lot in a day. You, really you, you can. can do a lot, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can drag yourself around every single thing. Four or five hours, you can do it if you want to see everything. Then we head down to Palermo in Sicily. Again, really nice, think palm tree lined boulevards, that type of thing. Beautiful, older style buildings and a really nice sort of dining scene there as well to head and have a look at. From there, we head to Malta, Valletta. Again, it's a really great port. You come out of um, the ship itself and you walk into, you can either walk up the steps or you can go about 150 metres down and take the lift up to the centre of Valletta. Really easy to where the gun battery is. Um, then it's a day at sea, so you'll get the chance to really enjoy the ship at that point. And then we head into Barcelona. Again, it's brilliant Barcelona because you can go right into the centre of Barcelona so easily. Head in, I would say, see the market. And yeah, you know, if you I get would. a chance, it's I great. Now, have a glass of, of wine in there and some, some fish or something like that. See the Sagrada Familia there. Um, go and see the unfinished uh, cathedral. And if you like the football, there we go. The new camp is well worth a visit. Then from there, it's back to Marseille where you disembark and we take you to the airport and fly you back to the UK. Uh, now, the value on this is incredible. Uh, we've got prices starting at 589. Want to share a little bit more of this brand new ship. So Dan yeah. was literally on board this morning, just come back today. She so looks so grand. That there you can see is Gallery Grandiosa and Look at during the, the evening well. she has tables and chairs everywhere there, people eating in the special tourism. It has a real feel of like uh, walking down a city city street. I mean, it, she is a floating resort, isn't she? She is. And the one thing I would say, even if you're looking, say, a winter time cruise, and it's not as warm in the med, you know, it's 15 to 20 degrees, all of the swimming pools were heated. Oh, all lovely. of them. So even we were in the North Sea in, a, in a, a, a rather cold, wet and windy day yesterday, and we were in the outdoor pool and it was lovely and warm. After that, we went inside to the indoor pool, the safari pool, and it was even warmer. It was lovely. You could sit in there all day. A fantastic spa as well. If you like your spa, they've got so many steam rooms so and sauna. I lost so count. just look at the size of the theatre that we just saw there as yeah. well. And the interactive cinema as well, the F1 simulator. I mean, there, there is There's so the much. Oh, wow. It, it's, it's really fantastic. And it's a large spa as well, so lots going on. Brilliant cabins, big bathrooms, um, really comfy beds. Um, by the way, the Yacht Club, um, we've also got prices on the Yacht Club, which are amazing tonight. And that, the Yacht Club is like a separate... So like it's a like a cruise within a cruise, they call it. You have a separate restaurant, you get butler service, uh, embarkation, you get a separate lounge. So it's like it's... a whole large VIP area, really. Exactly. Um, so, just to, to recap, uh, this is her maiden season. She has just launched. Uh, you've got the world-famous Cirque du Soleil shows on board as well. Oh, I forgot to mention tips are included on this one as well. Uh, return flights based on London, and we've got a brilliant price on a family of four that can cruise fare under £4,000, and that is on the 4th of July as well. So uh, so price starting at 5 and Let me just show you, though, some of the, uh, the other dates. So we've got dates throughout uh, the year, starting in January, we're going all the way through to October. Uh, 2020, of course, and uh, we, we've already had some sellouts, so the, some of the ocean views have already sold out. Brilliant prices on the balcony, and if you really do want that VIP experience, we've got the Yacht Club available as well, uh, with prices there starting at 1629. Um, and we will be featuring more on MSC next week, just to give you the heads up. Um, by the way, everything's on the Planet Cruise website, planetcruise.com as well. I, I spend <laughs> I spend a lot of time on that, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, you can see all the deals stuff, but Planet Cruise can find you any cruise anywhere in the world, anytime, and they can make your holiday bespoke as well. Um, but uh, we've still got so much coming up tonight. I always love this show. I've had a bit of a stressful day between you and I. So it's just just nice to chill and relax <laughs> and to plan our next uh, cruises, but. Something that I know from, from t t sometimes I, me and my partner Jay will take my mum away and uh, it, it's often very expensive if uh, you've got a solo passenger with you or if you're a single lady and gents and you want to cruise. Well, we have got an amazing deal coming up next with Cruise and Maritime. It's this week's solo special.
Well, we are, we are joined tonight by one of our favourite guests, and she's not been with us for quite a few months. Um, hello there. So, Maura is with us, of course, from Cruise Maritime. Where have you been? I've been hiding and clearly yeah. very busy doing Cruise Maritime things. Well, so I've heard you've been cruising. cruising a lot, yes. I have been cruising quite a lot, actually. <laughs> um, yes, that's what I like to do. <laughs> of so course. I've been thoroughly enjoying my year of cruising. Well, I, I, I gather that... Um, a big celebration is taking place with Cruise Maritime right yes, now. Yes, yes. So we this year we've been celebrating our 10-year anniversary. Is it 10 years? It really? is 10 years. And in that time, we have grown from just having one ship to now becoming Britain's leading independent cruise line. Wow. I mean, you're a big fan as well. I like really you. like them. I did Columbus, one of the other ships nice. that we're going to feature again. Um, last year, brilliant. I love the, the value for money. The ships themselves are really really well looked after you've really sort of upgraded well, yeah. them well we're having a, a little look now more if that's yeah, okay so the deal we've got tonight is on board Magellan she is a beautiful mid-sized ship which all of our fleet are small to medium size they offer a really friendly intimate atmosphere great choice of dining got two beautiful formal dining rooms where we serve a range of both Brit British and international cuisine we also have speciality dining on board as well which are very affordable here very affordable we've got a fantastic Fusion, which is an Asian Indian restaurant, and we've got the Grill, which is surf and turf. I, I and can vouch steaks. for both. Yeah, They're fantastic. Like those. <laughs> I really love them. Yeah. Those. Well, so you were raving about it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. um, but but very friendly ships are gathered as well. To me, in, I think, and, and people might argue with me, but I think Magellan is the friendly ship afloat. Yeah. That's I know that's a, a you know a big statement, but uh, I think when people I, I do hear board, that a lot. I do hear that a lot. We can back it up. She's incredibly friendly, and it's all about the camaraderie, and that's why people come back to Cruise and Maritime. The passengers get on board as strangers and they leave as friends and then they come back time and time yeah. again. So we've got we very have, loyal following. We've actually, got incredibly yeah. loyal following and actually we had a beautiful evening on Saturday night celebrating our 10 year anniversary wow. with a thousand of our most loyal guests and it was more like a family party than an actual kind of event on a cruise ship. There's something very special about Cruise Maritime. Well, we hear this and say the fact that you've grown so much as a company over the last 10 years says an awful lot. Yes, and we're doing, doing something so. right. You're doing a lot of things we're right. Really um, <laughs> and I, did, I said to Maureen, I promise that I will cruise with uh, Cruise Maritime next year because um, I hear so many good things. Yes, and you must. I keep yeah, telling no, you, I will, and I, you really must. I promise you I will. And Dan said... Well, I keep saying, I think you would really love them. Yeah. I, think I think we like some of the cruises, perfect, Yeah, I think they're your perfect yeah. type of ship, certainly. I think you'd enjoy uh, it, definitely. But it's, uh, it's a really great itinerary as well, isn't it? this one a little really bit different nice. as well yeah. which is uh, what we, were, I like. we were speaking beforehand mm. if you've done a lot of cruising and you've done the baltics the fields this the ports that we're going to see they offer you something different that you probably won't have had the chance to go to before yeah, there's a well i said there's a lot that i've not been to here so we're cruising out of tilbury which is yeah. very very easy yes very easy in essex that's our home port in tilbury so very easy to get to and uh a first day at sea I'll let, I'm going to let you do all the presentations. Are you going to let me do yeah. I thought you might. Actually, so, the first one's not too bad, is it? No, we head to Kalundborg. Uh, is that right? Do you know? Yes, yeah, we're right. going to say yes. We'll say um, yes. I, the great thing about this particular cruise is when I was sort of having a good look through and doing all my research, a lot of the ports are so easy to get to. So this particular one, um, it's 15 minutes into town from there, and oh, you're, you're right. sort of there. Which is what you want. You, yeah. you can also do some sort of tours a bit further afield. Copenhagen is, is accessible from there as well if you wanted to. There's also a free shuttle bus into town that the port operate on there so that's great from there we head off to one of the biggies of the baltic varnamunda um from there you can stay local it's great you can do lots of things in the port that are geared up for the tourists or you can head into berlin you can take the train or do a tour that cruiser maritime offer that's probably what i would suggest if you decide to go there on there okay then we head off to rom which is uh, bornholm and it's ron is the largest town it's the capital of the island um head to the gamelstan there which is the old town which is great to do. Um, again, they offer a free shuttle bus into town from there, although it's not far if you wanted to walk. I think it's about 30 minutes chilled out walk on there. Okay. It's great to see some of these pots we've, we've not that you've not heard of. You know, yeah. That's it, exactly. And this is, I think, what's going to be popular tonight yeah. because it, it gives you that chance to go and see something you wouldn't see. We then head to Gotland, uh, or Visby, in fact, it's the capital of Gotland. Um, right in the middle of the in the middle of everything there in the water we head there it's a holiday island it's famous for its soft sandy beaches um, big cliffs things like that it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and also it has um, beautiful medieval um, city there worth having a look on okay then from there we head off to uh, Nian Sham 
which is for Stockholm, is a bit further out of Stockholm there. So again, if you want to do a tour to Stockholm, you could do, do a trip in with Cruiser Maritime, I would say there. Um, or just stick around the port area. It's, you know, it's going to be quite na natural there. It's, it's, it's Sweden, Country, yes, you know. So sure. we... But Stockholm's always worth a visit. Oh, I think yeah. It's one of my favourite yeah. ports in the Baltic. So. From there, we head off to Klaipeda. Again, now this is Lithuania. It's not only Lithuania's biggest cruise port, I think possibly their only one, I don't know. It's, it's probably <laughs> why it's the biggest. Um, it's, it's their oldest town in the, um, in the country as well. So lots going on there. Um, you're only 800 metres from the city centre. So again, really close, right. really That's accessible. Nice and easy, your day. isn't it? it you know, go and have a wander around. And also, whilst you're there, you can um, do some great shopping. Manta Street is the best place to go for that on there. From Klaipeda, we head off to Dansk in Poland. Again, a beautiful city that's not very often visited by cruise uh, guests and also it's not as easy to fly there as you would think from the UK direct. So not so many British people have visited there. A lot do Krakow down in the south but this is beautiful. A really old um, Amsterdam-esque type of city. Beautiful buildings. Not quite the same as the rest of Poland. So if you've been to Poland before it's not as, as sort of similar to, say, Warsaw or Krakow. It's, it's got its own personality there, which is great. Um, from there, we head for a day at sea and then into Skagen, so in Denmark. Um, again, you're only a mile from the town when you dock there. So really easy to see. Having looked through, I would say go and see the buried church. Now, it's lost in the sand, uh, effectively, so the, the wind has blown the sand across it. The only thing you can see there now is the, the spire. So worth to go and have a look at that. It's something you know don't see too often. Um, or the Skaga Museum, which is great. It will take you through the whole history of the area. Um, you know, being a coastal town, it's had lots going on over the years. And then it's a day at sea back into Tilbury. And like you said at the beginning, Tilbury, I can say a fantastic port to go from. Quite small. It's so quick to get on board. It's brilliant. Because that's a lovely itinerary. I'm just thinking a lot of the larger ships they couldn't do those ports. No, could they? they couldn't. No, um, no. So, um, that's what makes it. That's what makes cruise maritime often unique because we can go to the smaller ports call that the big well, ships can't. I just wanted to have a look at, at, at uh, this fabulous ship again. And I mean, she's beautifully maintained. She's got a lot of character, hasn't she? Lots of character. Great facilities. What I really love about every, her is everything is so well contained, particularly for your evening entertainment. You can go from, say, something like Sinatra's Bar, which is cocktail and conversation, nice place for a martini, or you might fancy our British pub, the Taverners, Sounds play good. a game of darts and have <laughs> Piano bar, you've got, I love, I love. Always have, a nice venue when yeah, you've got a piano bar. I'm always disappointed when ships don't have a yes. piano bar. Yeah. Yes, we do. I think we've I'm got four that. pianos on Miguel and something oh, like really? that. Oh, really? Okay. Good number, so lots of places <laughs> to, uh, to enjoy that. And then, of course, you've got the show lounge for the bigger production-style shows. We have cabaret nights in the um, in Captain's Club, which is the sort of late-night venue. Yeah. So always so something going on. always and, something going and on. And you board. offer exceptional value, don't you? That's what we're also very well known for, yeah, is our value. Are. And it's not just about great value when you're going on board the price you pay for your holiday is actually the price you're paying when you're on board yeah. as well because that's yeah. that's key so even things like uh, drinks package i'm going to ask um more about those in a second because I, I need to as you know uh, <laughs> but uh, you can secure your uh, place tonight on board from just uh, 200 pounds per person deposit i forgot to mention adult only as well um you know, obviously, children are welcome on many of your ships, but this is adult this only. And we've got the most amazing single special. I mean, this is exceptional for £1,075. Do you know, give us a call sooner or later because that will sell very quickly. Singles yeah. in particular do fly. Yeah. Um, and we very much look after our single passengers I know you as well. Do. So we do lots of activities for them on board. So, so please book special. that sooner or later because there's only one date available for this mm. and no flying at all. Uh, and we've said about everything is great value, Maya. Things like drinks packages. Yeah. Yes, so You're one of the most affordable at sea, aren't you? I believe so. So the premium package, which is our most popular drinks package, is £23 per person per day, but that includes the gratuities. And then Brilliant. you also get discounts and off speciality dining if you take those packages as well. Yeah. And it's unlimited, so we don't sort of don't say... Don't encourage me. You can only have <laughs> 15 drinks a day and then it's capped. It is unlimited. And so there's a good choice, though. It's a really, oh, really good, good choice. choice. It's all of things like cocktails and your beers and wines wow. and lagers and spirits. And I mean, it might be funny, but some other companies would charge two or even oh, close to three times that price. Of course yeah. they would. It's really good value. Well, I promise you, I will cruise. You know, Prom do. I've promised my mum because my mum's 80 next year. Oh, she'd love yeah, it. we I've keep having this conversation. I know. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to track you down. I, you, you, listen, I will be on board next year. I promise you. Um, and you've also got a um, a hot pick tonight as well. Now, I, love this. I only glanced at this because it came in really late. 
And I could not believe the price. Well, is that correct, 769? That is yeah. absolutely correct. It includes an overnight in Reykjavik, chance, of course, to witness the phenomenal northern lights in Iceland. They've been quite spectacular so far this season. Some of our ships have seen the northern lights already. And March um, can be very cruises. good. good March in particular can be yeah. very yeah. good. We've got another fantastic price for singles, so really good deal for our single passengers. So if anyone has got the Northern Lights on their bucket list, and I know a lot of people do yeah. have, then this is a great deal for That them. is amazing. So I can truly say that's the best price that I've seen for Northern Lights, really because they can become quite expensive. They, they can be really expensive. Yeah. So, you know, you could have a really good chance of seeing those on board. 769. I'll jot down that ID number because this one will go very quickly. 202718. Moira, I'm going to say thank you You're so welcome. much. It's lovely to see you. Can you please come back a bit more regularly? We've I'll missed try. you. Yes, please do. I've missed being here. Let's so, cruising. Yeah, I know. I'm last time. <laughs> well, thanks for the great deals. Oh, as you're ever. welcome. Love having thank you, Sean. Nice do. to see you. Right, what else have we got for you? Was well, that amazing for Moira? That always brings us brilliant deals. But it is now time for this week's Hotspot. Oh yes, and this is with Royal Caribbean on board the Jewel of the Seas and we're going to take you over to Dubai, Amman and Abu Dhabi but let's take you on board and have a look uh, before we do, um, we are going to be of course in Dubai for three nights in this one. Now, Dan, I've, I've, I always say this, but I've only ever been to the Dubai airport, and it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But there's so much to do, isn't there? I really like Dubai. You know, it, for one, when you first get there, it's super impressive. I mean, you see the lights and the glass towers. It's something special. Here we're seeing a little bit of, of what you can do in Dubai. There's so much to do. They've really built a city that's got something for everyone. Yeah. Gorgeous beaches, amazing shopping. You've got the fountains, head up the Burj Khalifa, see the sights. It, you honestly will not be bored in Dubai. It's one of them places that's changing all the time. I've so, only heard, I mean, I've just heard incredible things about Dubai. Exactly, yeah. It's a different world, isn't it? It's a different, yeah, exactly. And the other great thing, which I really like about Dubai, it's so accessible from the UK, from all over with Emirates. But also, um, weather-wise, you know, the lead date on here is the 20th of February. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot closer, obviously, than going to you know the Caribbean. You know, what's it? Seven seven hours, I think, roughly six and a half seven hours to get there. You know, you're going to get good weather all yeah. through the year. I when and I really went, nice it was end of March, it? April, and it was it was nearly thirty. Wow! Oh, it was thirty. You know, it's great. So even well, if you, you don't February time, on the fact to oh, <laughs> I, I was inside the air conditioned bus stops. <laughs> Yeah, we don't, we're, not, we're, we're not exactly olive skinned and tan well, do we? No, no. We're not suited for Dubai, really, are no. we? We're, we're going that northern time, lights, maybe. But at this time of year, you can get, you know, sometimes like mid 20s, whatever. It's, it's, it, it's yeah. about right. It's yeah. perfect weather. It's what you go looking for in the winter. Yeah. Uh, so, three nights in Dubai, of course. Uh, you will get there a desert safari uh, adventure with barbecue dinner as well. You do. Which that's is included, great. isn't that's it? That's included. So that's um, that's a really good thing because actually you quite often when you're on these trips want to go out and do a four by four. So in that the is desert. included. That's and, included. And then we're just looking because you'll also then embark the Jewel of the Seas for seven night cruise as well. And, and I guarantee when it comes to having a great time, Royal Caribbean will deliver on so many different levels. Yeah. They, they're the company that got me hooked into cruise. They will look after you from start to they finish. Really that, will. That's for sure. And. What I really like about this cruise is if you're a new to, you know, you've never cruised before, this is a really good one to go for because if you're worried to say, oh, well, we don't know what the weather will be like, you know, will it be, will we feel the ship move? In this part of the world, no. pretty much no. It's almost like sailing on a lake, which is great. And all of the ports are really accessible and offer something to do. So, I mean, it, we, let's have a look, shall we, to see where we're going because we're in Dubai on there. Again, really accessible. You can do your own thing there as well. Not a problem, really safe. From there, we head round to Kassab, which is in Oman. Um, now, I think I've mentioned it before, but here they have um, fields on there. So everyone thinks of the fields being really cold, beautiful red cliffs in there. And you can go on a cruise through the, the fields, and actually, if you wanted to, you can jump off the side of the ship, it's warm enough. That looks amazing, actually, doesn't it? It, well, I it mean, is, it's stunning. beautiful. Lots of dolphins around that area as well, so really? a good chance you'll see the dolphins in the wild, which is yeah. always exciting to see on there. 
From there we head to Moscow, which is possibly one of my favorite uh, places in this part of the world. It's completely different to Dubai and Abu Dhabi and all of that. It's oldie worldy. You go in there, you've got the souk really accessible um, from the, the port itself. Go in there and have a haggle, buy yourself something, you know, and then when they say 10, you say five and you meet somewhere in the middle and you end up buying double anyway, so yeah. <laughs> you'll be there. Um, after Muscat, I would also say, try and get up early to see the sail into Muscat. The cliffs are absolutely gorgeous as you sail in. And from there, we have a day at sea. You'll, you'll get a bit of a suntan that time of year. And actually, we've just been looking at the average temperature around about mid-20s. So that yeah, is, that's fine for us. It's pleasant. It's Very perfect. Nice. Um, from there, Abu Dhabi, which is a really exciting port. It's got all the mod cons of Dubai. And they've also got one of the, the great things out. I visited the Grand Mosque. It's absolutely huge. Um, Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, there we go. You can go in there and visit, um, you know, they, they also supply you with the bits and bobs to wear. Um, so you put those on. A amazing. The way it's been built is unbelievable, the architecture and just the sheer beauty of the, the design of it. Um, then back in there, if you're sort of a speed freak, you like your cars, Ferrari World yeah, is worth going to, to there. Yeah, that's incredible, That's actually. great. And then after that, for a complete chill out, just the end of the holiday, Sabanias Island is a nature reserve. Think beautiful white sand oh. beaches, gorgeous waters, warm wildlife going everywhere around if you want to just go and sit on the beach you can do or if you want to go and do something with more sort of effort you could it's all there it's purpose-built really for nature but also for people to visit i, I think a great adventure this one isn't it and it, then back to dubai isn't it back to dubai where we transfer you and fly you back to the uk uh now all of that for just over 900 pounds i say february can be a very bleak month um and I'm just thinking about just the return flights alone on that one. The flights. Yeah. You've got all your food included when you're on board, stay. the hotel stay, the desert safari. You... That, is, that is actually incredible value, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. So um, just to recap, you've got the three nights hotel stay in Dubai, you get the desert safari and barbecue dinner, return flights, they're based on London. Uh, we always, you know, generally speaking, we will always look for regional flights. So, you know, if you don't live near London, yeah. if you're looking for, you know, flights from Manchester, then we will certainly yeah, uh, do our best. Yeah, there's a very right. good chance. If you, maybe a small supplement, but it, you can go from Edinburgh, Glasgow, Manchester, Newcastle. They're all over. We can get you from. Uh, and uh, the itineraries differ just slightly depending on departure date. I'd say we've got a great um, selection of dates in this one, actually. So December dates, so you could even be way over uh, Christmas time. January, February and March of next year. And uh, some great upgrades available here. The Ocean View, just a few pounds extra night for the Ocean View. The Balkan is just over £1,000. And we've even got junior suites as well. And don't forget, um, you know, if you want to book anything tonight, just give us a call 0808 2502 662. And everything, of course, on the Planet Cruise website, planetcruise.com. But we did mention... We have got a fantastic river cruise for you as well. Have a little look at this. And it is our river spotlight. Now this is where with APT, isn't it? APT, so one of the sort of the, the high-end brands really of river cruising. Yeah. You're gonna get have a luxury experience with this 14 nights, May 2020. It's a lovely itinerary and you'll get some really pleasant weather that time of year as well. Uh, now the reason why we're featuring this tonight We've just got brand new reduction, so you can actually save up to £1,400 per person. Uh, now, this price includes a daily choice of excursions and drinks and meals, and we have got some alternative dates available. The best thing, if you are interested in this one, it's the European Gems. Two weeks uh, is just to give us a call and we can tell you more. And the ID for this one is 205639. But that will be magnificent, won't it? Yeah, if you like uh, river cruising, or even if you've never cruised on a river, Brilliant, this one, fantastic. However, we have got a cracking deal next with Celebrity Cruises. Look at the price on the screen, ladies and gents, 829. Um, and this is, and I can guarantee that you will find this spectacular. It's the most incredible cruise around the fjords. And I've been around the fjords twice now. Yeah. And you've, you've cruised around the fjords. A couple, of, yeah, a couple, couple of, times of times on the fjords. Uh, and I, I know you will absolutely adore the whole experience. But made even better on board the Celebrity Silhouette. On the Silhouette. So by the time this cruise goes, she'll have sort of been upgraded. Fantastic facilities in there. Every part of your cruise will be looked after, whether it's going to the buffet and it's so spacious on there. 
Um, you can head to the pool and the towel is already on the sunbed for you, ready to go. Lots of little touches that just make your holiday easy. I mean, I, I've, I've, I've cruised in many different companies and I've always had a great time, but Celebrity, yes, they are. And there's our lovely roof, by the way. They are five-star modern luxury at its very best. They win numerous awards. Um, now, the fleet, all of the, the fleet is actually being updated over the next few years. They're all going through um, sort of major, we're not talking sort of lick and paint, major refurbishments they're all going through. They're going to keep all the favourite bits and add on all of the new extras that have come with the Edge and the Apex, and the Apex. that's coming out. Um, so you'll still have your martini bar that we love. Yes, exactly. Um, you'll still have your, your favourite uh, restaurants and you know, all the things we love about Celebrity and the Salsa this class, but with the brand new Edge features as well. With additions to just make it, all the bits that have made it a favourite across the years are going to be enhanced, is I the best way to look at the it. The whole fleet, I mean the fleet's spectacular already, but going to look even more beautiful. They are, and, and it's one of these ships, you know, when you go to the port, you're impressed before you even go inside. And once you go inside and you see the theatre there, oh, you honestly, see the bars and restaurants, yeah. you, you, you know, they are fabulous. They, you, many of you know, I've cruised Celebrity Island eight times now, um, big, big fan, and they never, ever disappoint. They have no. five star model luxury. And they win, God, every time Ruth comes on the sofa, Celebrity have won even more awards. They have. And they, you know, even down to the cabins, they have bigger cabins. Even if you're in a standard inside, it's bigger than yeah. what you would have on some of the other cruise ships as well. So you really do get value for money as well. But if you haven't cruised around the fjords, you do need to. Um, one of, well, say, one of my favourite destinations, yeah. truly. And we are, of course, cruising out of Southampton. You've got your first day at sea, so you'll just settle into the beautiful celebrity silhouette. Uh, you'll, uh, you'll explore the ship. You, if you go for the ocean view, you'll have a great drinks package, so you'll be uh, starting to enjoy that as well. But we are making our way over to uh, Bergen, aren't we? To Bergen, so one of the, the, the major stops in Norway. Um, really easy, walk into town from there. Great food market. If you're into your fish, wonderful fish there. Head up uh, the either the cable car, or my personal prefer preference would be to go up the funicular. Yeah, go to the did, top, yeah. have a look out, you get the some fabulous are amazing, photos. Aren't they? Oh. You can also walk down from there as well if you wanted to just go one way. A great little walk down as well, really nice pathways down. Um, from there, we head to Olden. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous place. I often say that it's my favorite of them just because it's so picture perfect. You can, there, if you want to, there's lots to do. You can head off to the cable car, which is the steepest cable car in the world, on there if you want, just down the either way. Or you can go and get pictures like you're seeing on screen now. You come out of the ship, turn right into the village, and follow the river up. And that, when you see that picture there, that, believe me, is exactly how it looks. Yeah, it's we, live spectacular. In, we live in such a busy, crowded world that when you, you know, when you cruise on fjords, just the, the air, the space, the tranquility, yeah. the beauty. We, ju we just saw there the Brixdale Glacier yes. as well. You can do a trip to that, really worthwhile. If you get some That's on board did, spend, actually. it's worth to, you know, to do a tour there as well, which is great. We then head to probably the most pictured field of all of them, Garanga. Now, Garanga's where you, you literally sail all the way to the end, and when it gets to the end of the field, it does a, a, a turn all the way back on itself, and you're there. You're at the very end of the field. Twists and turns its way all the way in. You go past waterfalls. The Seven Sisters are particularly beautiful on the left-hand side of the ship as you go in. With this being in May as well, with the snow have melted on top of the mountains, they'll be in full flow. Yeah, that's a good So you, you'll get yeah. brilliant photos yeah, so this time of year as well. That's the best time to see the, the waterfalls. In here, when I was there personally, I did Mount Dalsnibber where you get a, an amazing view down onto the ship and the, the field itself. And then the Eagle Road, which zigzags its way all the way up the side of a mountain. It's great um, on there. From Garanga, we head to Stavanger, another sort of port town on there. So go, we're going to go there. Lots to do again. We can head into town here ourselves if we want to, or you can do a tour out and see um, the, the rock. I, you know. I went to the, um, I know this, sounds, this might sound boring, but it wasn't. I actually went to the Canning Museum. Oh, the sardine, the sardine yeah, factory. Honestly, yeah, honestly, I... <laughs> Lots of people have, and no, they, they all love the it. In the gallery, but honestly, it was actually really good. Yeah, it's yeah. quite interactive. It, 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 honestly, it was good. Did you put them in the can? Yeah, Did you, yeah, yeah. I've still got them. Um, <laughs> not a real one. But um, there's, anyway, there's a lot to do there. But um, 
you know, any trips, excursions, celebrity can, of course, sort those out as well. Uh, final day at sea, and I promise you, the days at sea are amazing on celebrity ships. There's so much going on. And then back to Southampton. Now, the price, I mean, you know, you sell celebrity cruises every day of the week. Yeah. That is an incredible price, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is amazing. They are five-star luxury, and you will pay that price on other ships as well. And when you're on board with the whole, with the, the dining they've got going on, with the lawn club at the very top, they have real yeah, grass. One, that's one of my favourite restaurants, actually. Yeah, it's it's really fabulous. And you also, you know, you've got the pool there. They've also got a covered pool as well. So if it's the, the weather's a bit inclement, there we go. There we go. You can go in and Slowly. head to that. Really lovely. It's great to go in and see. There's the retreat lounge. Great there. This is how it's uh, yeah, this going is, to look. This, these, are yeah, say, these are new pictures. Yeah. So these are the new edge areas. So and the re retreat Sunday. This is what Ruth bought us a couple of weeks ago. That's the Persian garden there. If you really like your spa, go for an aqua class cabin. You get access to that as well. And a separate restaurant, which is which really is great. Which is blue. And you really like the... I uh, do. And we have do. got tonight really good prices on aqua class. Uh, I'll talk about this in a second. And then all the specialized restaurants, Murano is beautiful. This is the restaurant you'll get to dine in every night if you go aqua class. And the service and food is outstanding. Yeah. Martini Bar, one of my favourite holes. And this is what the new state This is how the new like. state look like. Yeah. I mean, you saw a bit earlier what they currently look like. They're beautiful. And this is, is amazing. Wow. Um, so, just to uh, give you the heads up, it is the last chance to get free classic drinks, $300 on board spent, and gratuities if you go for an ocean view or above. So it's the last chance there. And those extras are worth a fortune. Uh, you can upgrade to Sweet Class and then you receive free premium drinks, yeah, on board spend, gratuities, and unlimited Wi Fi. The I2 is uh, they vary slightly depending on departure date. And if you go for the 28th of August, you actually get uh, an eight night cruise. And again, just call for full details. And you can actually book this one, I mean, it will be very busy, but you can book tonight with a deposit from only a pound per person. And then just to show you, there are free upgrades on selected dates. So if you go for the night of May, you'll be upgraded to a... That is incredible for yeah, balcony, actually. for balcony. It's really worth um, doing to have a balcony in Norway as well, and, if you and, can. Yeah, definitely. But the Aqua Class, I've got my on that one, 1615 for the 9th of May. Again, you've got um, free upgrades on the 27th of June and on the 28th of August. So if you go for the Ocean View on the 28th of August, you will get the balcony. But for a few hundred pounds more, you can go for concierge class as well. That is a really, really good deal. Tonight, Fantastic right? deal, that one. Uh, the drinks package, I do know it very well. It's all of your specialty teas, coffees, sodas, uh, things like your bottled water that you can take uh, when you visit various ports. Uh, Non-alcoholic cocktails, I've never tried them, but I heard they're very good. <laughs> uh, selected beers, spirits, wines, and we're talking about premium brands, we really are a celebrity, and uh, a wide selection of alcoholic beverages in all of these specialty bars and restaurants as well. And uh, I've got to uh, mention, if you go for the Ocean View and above, you will get $300 on board spend. Now, you could choose to go to some of the specialty uh, restaurants, you could do shopping on board, you could visit the spa, you could uh, buy some of the fabulous photos, you could put that towards many excursions and activities as well. So just some of the things you can do with your onboard spend. But uh, yes, I'm sure Ruth will be watching. Thank you, Ruth, for that amazing deal tonight. But there's two words that I haven't said yet. My favorite two words. Oh yes, it's time for this week's All Inclusive. Now, now, Dan, we, 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 we are birds of a feather. We both like an all-inclusive, don't we? We do, because you don't come back with a bill. So there's no, no. shock at the end of the week. And there's no rush when and, on board. And there's no kind Drinks of like, there. oh, should, should I have an afternoon cocktail? Exactly, or should we, not? shouldn't we? It's great. I love an all-inclusive. I do. Yeah. I, it, it makes it easy. Now, I, I recently discovered Morella Cruz. I say discovered. They've been on the show many times. But they always sold so well. And I, yeah. I get such great feedback when we both do from customers. That I, um, I, I had my first Merlot cruise uh, earlier this year. I've now booked my third with my mum in just a few weeks. Uh, and this is on board the Mirella Discovery, which is the, the ship that I was on uh, just a few months ago. She's amazing. She's fantastic. So much to do on board. Um, great for warm weather cruising, which is what we're going to have tonight. 
um, really great open deck spaces. Once you're on board, all inclusive, like we say, so drinks, tips, food, all included, lots to do. She's had a little enhancements like the, um, the sort of VR area there. You can see anytime dining for everybody. So everyone has anytime dining on board. So lots of people really like that. No need to worry about who you're gonna be sat with or when you go as and when you're ready. Great specialty dining as well. Corolla there, do sort of an Asian fusion. And really lovely and really affordable as well. Exactly. It's one of the great, and because you're all inclusive, that little extra like that, yeah. you can sort of afford to do it. And I've got great. to say, the entertainment, I love entertainment. Um, it is absolutely outstanding. There, there's always something going on. There's, you know, yeah. you walk into one area, there's a great band playing. You yeah. walk, walk around the corner and there's a pianist. Yeah. Then there's a big theatre shows. Um, there's even an opera singer one night. I, Was there? Yeah, I mean, I, something different. Yeah, so there's always a lot going on, and and I'm just so impressed with the the value with Morello. Yeah. So the the fact that they're all inclusive now, you got all your tips as well. They're just, fantastic. They really are. They really are, yeah. And that ship, the, too far the wrong. Discovery, is a former Royal Caribbean ship yeah, as well. Yeah, I want to say she was Splendour of the Seas, one of them. But she, So she's got lots yeah. of bits on there from Royal Caribbean that they've enhanced further, yeah. which is great. But this, uh, this cruise, well, first of all, we fly you to Orlando. And big news on this one, because um, we've got flights from Birmingham, Manchester and London as well. So three major airports to choose from there, Manchester, Birmingham and London. Uh, we say so flying you over to Orlando and we transfer you to Port Canaveral for a seven night cruise. And really important to say, this is the first time that Tui Morella will have based a ship in Orlando yes, and for UK, yeah, she's, she's UK passengers there, yeah. and she's staying there for first the summer, time. which is great. So once we get on board in Orlando, and the great thing is we'll fly you out there, they'll then transfer you, you'll go on board a day at sea to enjoy the weather and the ship. Then it's Amber Cove, which is a purpose-built sort of cruise terminal there. Lots going on around it. Um, beautiful beaches like everywhere in the Caribbean. Um, you can just relax and enjoy yourself there. We then head off to uh, Grand Turk. Again, amazing. When you dock in Grand oh, Turk, you are on the pier. Paradise. You walk down the pier, Look I think it's probably about 90 metres, and there's yeah. a beach there. It's fantastic. You don't need to go far to get on the beach, which is Jim, great. Jim, if you book this tonight, you'll forget about that miserable weather outside of you the will. UK. This yeah. is what you've got to look forward to. Uh, now, from Grand Turk, Day at Sea. And again, I love Days at Sea with Marilla. So much happening. But Key West is Key next. West, really popular. And s not many sort of ships go Dear in there, the really. Jam. It's quite difficult to get hold of. It's four miles by two on there. So it's really easy to get around. If you want to do the whole island in a day, you can. Put your, put your trainers on and go for a good walk. We drove there. there from Orlando. It took four hours, but it was well worth it. But yeah. it's a lot easier just to roll up exactly. on the ship, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, turn up on a ship after <laughs> breakfast. Loads easier. Then we head to Miami, a massive big hitter of that part of the world. So many ships go from there, but you don't often really get a chance to see. No. You fly in and fly out. And Miami, I was just saying to Dan, you know, the, the, we love the um, Art Deco architecture. Uh, Lincoln Road is a great place to have lunch. It's a real cultural experience, and I love people watching there. There's so many characters in Miami. Yeah, we, we love it from the shade, though, we should point out. Yes, we, we, sit, we sit in a bar with something to drink <laughs> and watch the people go by. There's lots of nice shaded areas as well. My us. wife really likes roller skating as well, and it's good oh, on South people, Beach. Yes, I don't. Yeah. I'm not very good, but she's not bad. There's loads of people roller skating, but it's, it's a fascinating place. Uh, then, uh, Back, of course, to Orlando, Port Canaveral, you disembark and you're flown back to the UK. I want to show you this incredible ship. I was on her, say, earlier this year. I had the best time. She's the Marilla Discovery and she has got so much to offer. A great atmosphere, very British feel as well, obviously. Very British. Really been sort of spruced up is a good word to say, I would say, with, with sort of the design, the architecture. She's got what I really like on a ship, which is a massive atrium from floor to ceiling, you know, all the way up with the glass lifts. It just, it, I think an atrium just gives it a really lovely feel. And there's always something going on, a little bit of music and, in the background. And I'll value the specialised restaurants. They're not a lot extra, but they're well worth doing. Coral are there, surf and turf, uh, steakhouse as well. And, and also, if you're sort of think you're sort of someone who likes to do tours from the ship, the great thing is that the tours aren't they're really affordable yes, really they are. affordable i was shocked when i booked and, mine but loads of great entertainment as well so mum if you're watching i'm sure my mum will be watching uh, don't forget your morella cruise is in a few weeks mum and you're gonna love it <laughs> um and uh, do you know even things like the sweets uh, you know great great value but uh, we've got all 
of this available starting at 1469. So it's a brand new itinerary, as uh, Dan mentioned, the first time ever Merlin Cruises will have a ship based in the USA. All inclusive, that's a standard now. So every ship is all inclusive and tips are included. Big news, brilliant choice of airports. Not everyone lives near London, we appreciate that. Birmingham, that's a choice. Manchester, for those uh, of our northern friends. Uh, I'm a, obviously from, uh, from the north myself. And you can also add on a seven night Orlando International Drive Hotel stay from as little as £159 per person. Again, um, Planet Cruise, you are brilliant at adding on extras and hotel stays. But these are all the dates that we've got. Got a massive choice, May to October. Uh, this is for 2021, we should say as well. 2021, so good chance to put down your deposit and pay along as you go or save up for it. But we have got one final cruise for you and it is a biggie and we are back to celebrity and it, this is an itinerary that I would love to do. It is the, uh, the Rocky Mountaineer adventure and it's on board. Many of you um, that have cruised celebrity, you'll love the ship on board the celebrity clips. But I'm going to um, hand over to Dan because uh, I haven't done this itinerary. I'd love to. So let's have a, a little taster right now. And um, first of all, we are flying you over to Vancouver. And we're there for, for a night, aren't we? There for a night, which is great because, again, really accessible. One of the friendliest cities in the world. It's always voted one of the most relaxing. Lots going on there. Go out and do some whale watching. But if you don't do it there, you're going to get plenty of chance to do it on the cruise we're going to have a look at. So a night there, transfers included. The next day down to the Celebrity Eclipse. Um, a lot of people will have sailed out of Southampton on her yeah. over the years. Everyone loves her. Well, let's have a little reminder, because she's a fantastic ship. Uh, say, one of my folks, I think I've cruised on her like, three times on board the Eclipse. I was actually on her maiden voyage, remember? Um, but she is fantastic as a so, ship. Very similar to, to the Silhouette. Yes. Lots going on aboard their sister ships. So very similar as to what we've sort of seen as well, the lawn club, the specialty dining, the bars. Fabulous place to be. There's a pool deck there, loads happening. But I love all the adult-only areas, like the solarium, that's an adult-only area. Yeah. Um, you've got the hideaway there. And lots of places like that to sit and read a good book. If you're really into your books, you like to read them on holiday, lots of places to hide away on these ships. Um, and the specialty dining with celebrity, oh, it is amazing. Yeah. There's blue, we mentioned if you're for Apple class, you'll be dining there. Not just in an evening, but breakfast and lunch as well. Quasar. Go and do the, uh, my biggest recommendation on board a celebrity ship is go and do the silent disco. If you've never oh, done one, hoops. they're amazing, the aren't they? Frog. They are fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and also, of course, um, the incredible spa. Yeah. Just give an idea of what your stateroom will look like there as well. I mean, impeccable, so beautiful. But we've got um, a great itinerary. So we're on board the Eclipse, seven nights. Uh, first day is at sea, and then we're going uh, over, making our way to Icy Strait Point, aren't we? Great place to do it. So first you've got some really wonderful cruising as you head up there. Um, it'll be really scenic. Once you get to Icy Strait Point, they've got a brilliant zip wire which you can do down over the forest canopy, wow. back down towards where the ship is. But, but the view's incredible. Oh, that? can you imagine? Or you Just can keep head your out. eyes open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you can head out and whale watch if you want to, which is great. From there, we head to the Hubbard Glacier. Now, the Hubbard Glacier is the largest tidewater glacier in North America, 76 miles long on there, 1,200 feet deep. Um, when you go there, you'll, the ship will go. You often see the, the bits of ice fall off and they create new icebergs. So not just little chunks of ice, new icebergs. Sometimes up to 10 stories high, these. So can you imagine the splash? And that will be there often. So the ships go in there as well and they sort of do sort of a 360. So you don't get in there as often. So if you're gonna go to Alaska, do one with the Hubbard Glacier. It's well worth doing. From there, we head to Janal, which is the capital of Alaska. I often say this, there are no roads in there. The only way to get there is by ship or seaplane. So the great thing is that it was all found by the gold. Um, head to the Medenhall Glacier if you want to, or do the tramway up the Mount Roberts. The tramway, they call it the tramway, but it's a cable car, really, we would call it. 3,800 feet up. From there, we head to beautiful Ketchikan. Um, a lot of people there go and see the Lumberjack Show. Um, it's really worth doing. Lots to see and do. Head to the Lumberjack Show. If not, just head away and see just the local area. Lots of totem poles like that going on everywhere around. Get your pictures on um, and send them to us as well. Oh, Why not? yes, please do. We'd love to see them. Uh, then uh, a day at sea and then back to uh, Vancouver. And then you actually disembark and you're transferred to a hotel. You've got a night stay there. 
and nights stay there. But and then it, it all begins again, doesn't it? You've had you've had Alaska, which is special anyway. We then do Rocky Mountaineer. Oh, I see. And what I will say about Rocky Mountaineer, we've done her a couple of, over the last couple of weeks, and a couple of uh, Rocky Mountaineers, they've been so, so, so You popular. said the last time, yeah. It I mean, was crazy. And, and be, I mean, this is the ultimate train trip, isn't it? She is. And the great thing about it is that she's built for that part of the world. So you see so much. Um, for example, if you're going along and the driver sees bears, he will slow down. So everyone on the train gets a chance to take a picture. You go over a large uh, sort of bridge, he slows down or she slows down so you can get a nice picture as well. Um, the one thing I would say about the Rocky Mountain here is if you can, we'll, we'll speak about it later, try and go for gold leaf. Yes. You get the bigger, you get the bigger uh, carriage at the very back. You get lots more sort of viewing space, you get more separate spacious, dining area as separate well. dining. And also at the very back of the train, um, it has its own sort of balcony area yes. where you can go outside and get some fresh air, which when you're on there for a, sort of a while, it's worth having because, it, I mean, if you can't and you just go for Silver Leaf, you will still be blown away. I mean, it is our bucket list. Uh, I yeah. will definitely be, do this itinerary, hopefully in the next uh, year or so. I mean, that, every time I see that footage, I'm like, oh. Yeah. But anyway, we've only just begun, haven't we? We do. So from there, when we're on the Rocky Mountains here, we head for a full day on the train up to Kamloops. Now, Kamloops is um, a great town and it's got, I can't remember how many restaurants, there's sort of a restaurant for every day of the year oh. there. Lots of people visit there on the way through with the Rocky Mountains. And, so and lots will, going on there. And you will be staying there in a, in a fabulous hotel for night as well. Then again, you take the Rocky Mountain here from Kamloops to Banff. Don't to you? Banff. So again, you've got a full day on the train to enjoy everything that's going on, all the scenery, take lots of pictures. You'll see lots of pictures. You'll get lots of pictures like that. You really will um, as you go along. You're into Banff. We've then got some sightseeing in Banff on there, yeah. which is really enjoyable. That's where the train part of it comes to an end. And you are there two nights, we should say. You are. S so stay you, two nights. again, you get a really good chance to see Banff, which is worth doing. And then there. uh, there's a motor coach transfer to Calgary, and again, you're there for night, are you? What happens, uh, so what happens in Calgary then? So in Calgary, we do the Calgary Stampede. So we've got to get the hats on and say yee Yeehaw! Yee really good there. It's called the greatest show on earth, the Calgary Stampede. We're going to see a little bit of what's going on here. Um, it's sort of an all-out North American annual rodeo exhibition festival, whatever you want to call it, held every July. Ten days every year. It attracts a million people a year. Wow. Um, you've got to think Cowboys. I don't think I've ever seen anything oh, like that, actually. No. It, only in North America you would find yeah. something like this. Uh, you know, cowboys, horse and cart racing. It's all high-octane, exhilarating stuff. It's just <laughs> all going on there. You've got uh, an evening show which is like chuck wagon racing, which is the big sort of uh, where you see it there. And then we head and we have a look and uh, well, just you, you bring out your inner cowboy or cowgirl whilst you're there. It's in there. Um, so that's the uh, so the Calgary Stampede uh, experience. So you are uh, staying in Calgary uh, for a couple of nights, aren't you? Calgary, a couple of nights. You get to see the Stampede two day thrill package there. So you get two days to really immerse yourself in the whole of the Stampede. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you're transferred to the airport and you're flown back to UK. That is a trip of a lifetime. Hey, it just came it came down in price, by the way, today by about 350 pounds, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it came down just today by 350 pounds. Uh, final reminder that of this stunning celebrity eclipse. I've got to say, if you want to do this itinerary, this journey, it doesn't get better than this. So uh, you're going to be on board the Rocky Mountain here. You've got the two uh, day, all uh, day uh, light rail journey with a silver leaf service. As Dan mentioned, if you can afford it, and I appreciate it, not everyone is going to be able to, but if you can, you can upgrade from uh, just 4 99 per person. Uh, we've also got the Stampy two-day thrill package included there and the eight-night stay, Vancouver two nights, Kamloops a night, Banff two nights, Calgary three nights, and selected breakfasts are included as well. And you return flights from London. What a trip, what a journey that was, but... It is time to recap. So let's uh, remind you where we started almost an hour ago. Uh, it's brand new ship, MSC. Uh, in fact, you do this one because you're on MSC board this Grandia morning. MSC Grandiosa, fabulous, fabulous ship. Well worth going. Winter, summer, whenever you go, MSC Grandiosa. From 589 per person, call in, speak to the guys. It's doing Spain, France, Italy and Malta. Uh, then we, we went from 
MSC, we had the fabulous Moira on the sofa with Cruiser Maritime on board the Magellan, 12 night Easter hidden Baltic treasures from Tilbury, and uh, the price there starting. Do you know I paused that? But what's the price? You have to look again. This yeah. seven, <laughs> seven four five. I can't. It's ever stay. Uh, and the single special uh, just over a thousand pounds as well. Then it was fabulous jewel of the seas out in Dubai. You've got three nights in Dubai, then onto the ship. Um, really worth going from 909 per person. 20th of February 2020 leading date 180802, the cruise ID. And then, of course, celebrity on board the beautiful, and she'll be even more beautiful, the celebrity silhouette. You must go for this one if you want to visit the fjords. Fantastic value, eight to nine for the interior. But if you upgrade to Ocean View, you'll get the free classic drinks, the $300 on one spend, and gratuities as well. Oh, then where did we go next? Was it the Marilla? Marilla. It was, was Marilla. Wasn't it? Our favourite, all inclusive, brand new itineraries out of America. First time they've been in Port Canaveral. Uh, 1469 per person, 228681 is the ID for that one. And then finally, we just saw the Rocky Mountaineer Celebrity Eclipse, uh, which um, was a trip of a lifetime with the Rocky Mountaineer there. And uh, that came down in price earlier today. ID number 208410. But next week's show is a special one. And here's our Glenn to tell you all about it. Hi guys, I'm Glenn from Planet Cruise. I've got some thrilling news. On Tuesday the 19th of November, live on Ideal World at 8 o'clock, the Planet Cruise TV show will feature a one-hour MSC Cruises special. And we'll be joined by MSC Cruises Specialist. Tune in for exclusive industry insight and cruise offers you won't get anywhere else. We might even give you a sneak peek into MSC Cruises' newest ship, MSC Grandiosa. It looks amazing. So there really is one place to be on Tuesday the 19th November, 8 o'clock on Ideal World for the MSC Cruises special. See you there. Love the t-shirt, Glenn, by the way. <laughs> Love that tight t-shirt. It it's bringing his inner Keith out, I think. Yeah, Keith yeah. used to present the show. I think he's, yeah, he's trying to become the new Keith. Now, we should say the Planet Cruise team, they are on board filming Grandiosa right now. Right now. They're going so to bring we it to you next week. So we will have exclusive footage next week. Yeah. But from what you've said, she is incredible. It's a stunner. So next week's show is all MSC. We've got, say, incredible deals, some exclusives as well. Dan, you're back a few weeks, presumably? Uh, back at the start of December. We will see you at the start of December. I'll be here next week as well. Can I say a massive thank you to all of our regulars and all of our new viewers. Give Planet Cruise a call. Um, if you've never cruised, I promise you, there is no holiday like a cruise. They're fabulous. No, we, we, I mean, yeah. We're sold, aren't we? Are we are sold. Uh, so we will see you with Planet Cruise and MSC next week, but don't forget to give us a call right now and uh, you'll be back in the office tomorrow. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right-hand side. It'll be really informative or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.